Madam Speaker, I move Sunny Day. Verbal fireworks broke out before the traditional balloon drop at the stroke of midnight on the House floor. Republicans oppose legislation prohibiting police from executing traffic stops and searches based on the odor of cannabis alone. Republicans wanted to explain their no vote. Speaker Jones used her discretion to take up other legislation. You cannot just roll call the minority party. No, no. we got six It does not minutes. work that way. Speaker Please Bruce. take a seat. Madam Speaker, you need to take a seat. It doesn't work that way. The rules do not allow you to operate that way. You cannot just roll call the minority party. No. Madam Speaker, the rules say that someone may explain their vote. Madam Speaker made the decision to move forward on the next bill. That is her prerogative. There is no ruling of the speaker to challenge. And I challenge the speaker at this moment. Buzz nope, proceed nope, with nope, respect. Nope, 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 nope. Recognizing the majority Thank leader. You. At Could this you moment. You got all the press here. Okay. Yeah, I'm very, yeah, I'm okay, very so glad to have the press here because some, you know, some of your members talked about democracy and how we work together, and that's not what's happening at this hour. The speaker recognizes people on the floor. Please allow her the opportunity to recognize. I challenge speaker. a ruling, which brings up the speaker pro tem, who I'm very fond of as well. Point of order. Madam Speaker. Point of order. I move the challenge, the ruling of the speaker which brings up Madam, Madam Speaker. the Speaker pro tem. At one point, Minority Leader Delegate Jason Buckle urged the GOP caucus to leave the chamber. They briefly exited toward the House lounge, then returned. Oh, it is time to move on with the people's business. We have two minutes left if you'd all like to participate in the people's business. Otherwise, we can just sit here and fight with each other. Delegate Nick Kipke issued a statement saying, I listened to the debate and regret my tone. I was tired and upset that Republicans were not being allowed to debate important bills that many of us believe are horrible for our state. However, I should have been more respectful in my tone, so I called the speaker to apologize for that. She was very gracious about it. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News. Well, House Speaker Adrian Jones just responded to Delegate Nick Kipke's restatement. She says in part, quote, I'll continue to protect both the institution and the rights of every member. Delegate Kipke and I have served together for a long time, and I believe that when he called me this afternoon to apologize, it was genuine.